I'm Scarlett and I'm starting a permaculture project here on the east coast of Mallorca. Follow along as I document the whole process of transforming this derelict piece of land into a food forest. Okay, I'm just coming from the uh, police station, uh, Guardia Civil. Told them everything had happened. But what I did this morning was um, much more interesting or much more delightful, I can say. Which is uh, that we went to an um, animal shelter here in the next village, in Felanitz. And well, I've been looking for a dog for a while and um, we had an appointment there to um, check out uh, what we had. and. Um, well, I actually, um, well, just let me show you. So we came to the shelter and of course there were a lot of adorable little puppies. I was looking for a border collie or something similar because I am thinking of having different animals in the future and there are a lot of sheep around us. So a dog with a hunting instinct was a definite no for me. With all these dogs around, it was really difficult to figure out if this was the right dog for me because there were so many distractions and this isn't a decision that you just take within a second because we're going to be partners and buddies for a long period of time. So I asked the lady from the shelter if I would be able to take him out for a walk, which was not possible because he never learned how to do this and he wasn't accustomed to walk on a leash. So the only other option I had to get to know this dog better was to take him in for a couple of days with the option to bring him back if it doesn't work out. So I wasn't prepared at all to walk out with a dog that day, but um, that's what we did, and I'm really, really happy we did so. first morning walk on the property we slept here once again this time without sleeping bags and tent of course because that all got stolen but I'm not gonna let this theft scare me off I'll just continue Pino is super cute he was a very good boy all night he didn't bark too much a little bit at the beginning when he heard the other neighbor's dogs but after that he was super quiet and um, every time one of us leaves um, to go pee he doesn't really like that at all he's uh, very protective of his new flock and he gets very agitated and waits until we we come back and he's really glad if the three of us are all together like his little sheep. It's um, kind of cute, but something we have to work on because, yeah, I mean, he has to be able to stay on his own one day. But for his first night, I'm, I feel like I have chosen the perfect dog. He loves to be outside and he's discovering his new territory now. And now I think he discovered the fence leading to the real sheep. Now there's a very beautiful 
sunrise coming up on the other side. Let me show you. So wild, baby, have to be in love. I'm so wild about you, honey. Makes me without your phone. It's my third day of being a dog owner, and so far, I'm very, very happy with um, Pino. He's a, such a good boy. He's been learning a lot in the past two days, and I think we're a great match. We both love the outdoors and he loves to run around, he loves the beach. He actually already went swimming yesterday. He very rarely barks and there's a couple of things he doesn't like. Like driving in the car, he doesn't like people with sticks or buggies or loud noises or loud cars. But besides that, for a dog that has never been outside, he has been a very, very good on the street and walking on the leash and everything. Um, yeah, so today I'm gonna start with some uh, small lessons of dog training. I just prepared some chicken so I can teach him to sit and well, let's see how this goes. I've been watching some dog training videos and I'm just gonna try and see if that works, what I've seen. Wow, I must say that was super easy. I'll put the link of the dog trainer I researched on YouTube and where I learned how to do this. But honestly, all I did so far when yesterday was whenever um, he made, he did sit, I said sit and that it's good, like he's done a good job sitting. And that was about it, just so he knows what sit actually means. And today, with some chicken, which seems to be uh, something he really likes, all I did was um, to just wait until he sits, and whenever he uh, sits, I just give him his treat. So he remembers that actually sitting, when I say sit, uh, is a good thing. And I mean, of course, I don't. I do know that border collies are very intelligent dogs, but I mean that was like, wow, he's impressive. He's like super smart. And I'm pretty sure um, he's gonna be a very good farm dog in the future. Pino. So Pino has been with me for a week now and tomorrow I will bring him back to the shelter because I only took him in as a foster dog for the week to decide if um, we're a good match and um, if he wants to stay with me. Since this is going to be a long-term partnership, I wanted to be sure I take home the right dog. But I mean, I knew he was the one after 
a couple of hours basically. But I have to go back to Switzerland to get my car and also all my stuff to start this project. So yeah, the shelter um, was kind enough to take him uh, in for another week that I can um, go back, get all my stuff ready and then I can get him forever. So far, I must say, we've been a great team. He has been learning a lot in this uh, short time and he's been super calm for a Border Collie. Um, I expected much more activity, to be honest, and much more chaos, but he's, um, he's a sweetie. Let me just show you, he's just scratching himself on the wall. I guess it's going to be much harder for me to let him at the shelter for one more week than it is for him since he already knows the people and they're really nice and they're taking good care of him. So yeah, we're just enjoying our last walk together, aren't we? At the beach and um, then I'll come back and get you. So um, be prepared for much more puppy footage in the upcoming videos and I will finally start to clean the property as soon as I'm back and I will have some more visitors to come and help me so stay tuned for that as well. And if you want to join the Son Selva family make sure to go to our website and check out how you can support us and also how you can be part of this project. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.